Hey guys, what's up? This is Alejandro Narbona. Welcome to English Corporativo. How are you doing today, guys? Hello, very well. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Still alive. That's fantastic. All right, guys. So we just have one hour here to rock it. So I have a question. You know what the question is, right? What was yesterday's topic? Uh -huh. You know, just one volunteer. That's all I need. What was yesterday's topic? Evaluations and comparisons. Evaluations and comparisons, that's right. With what? Uh -huh. Evaluations and comparisons with? With nouns. With many. Uh -huh. And much plus noun can nouns. Uh -huh. Many and much with nouns. And the other one was? What do we use to describe? ¿Qué ocupamos para describir? Adjectives. Adjectives, that's right. Thank adjectives. you, Louis. So Thank we have um, evaluations and comparisons with adjectives and also with nouns. Would you mind giving me some examples, please? Any of you? I, I'm not going to choose any, any victim. I need a volunteer. No? Okay. Carla, thank you. Mm -hmm. Would you mind helping me with evaluations? Um, well, let me see if it was. No, comparisons. Comparisons with adjective. Um, the rest of you start thinking. Like yesterday. Uh huh. Like yes. boys versus girls. Uh huh. Um, Come on, you can do this. I know you can do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, boys doesn't brush air as many times as girls. Okay, nice. Nice. Boys, boys don't brush their hair as many times as boys, uh, as girls. Okay. As girls. Got it. Got it. Excellent, guys. So I know this topic is not the easiest, the not the most fácil, pero you gotta practice it because it's very useful. All right. Now, good job, girl. I need an example with adjectives, please. Comparisons with adjectives. Carla, choose a the, victim. Or well, Luis, go ahead. Okay. The gods aren't as faithful as the dogs. Okay. Great example. Just go ahead and remove the. We don't need it. Cats okay. aren't as faithful as dogs. Good. Okay. You got this. Cats aren't as faithful as dogs. All right. So for today, we have a new topic. You ready? Yeah. Not ready, but no. Yes. Yeah. No. I don't know if you, you're all in mute right now. So let's go ahead and get mute. Unmute your mics. Read it with me, please. You know the drill. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Lesson objective. Expressing wishes and desires. <coughs> Expressing wishes, wishes and desires. desires. Is a big part of our of communicating with friends. It's a it's big, a big part, part of communicating with friends. With friends. With friends. Learn how to express wishes that you have about your personal life. Learn how, learn how to express how wishes, wishes, wishes that you have about, about, your about your personal life. 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 Uh -huh. life, career or health, career, career or health, 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 Ah, se me cae tu Help. vida, tu carrera, tu infierno. Help. Pega mucho. Hell. The same. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, not. Yes and no. But anyways, hell. Final time. Los Unidos finales. This lesson from Help. English teacher Jose Sainz 
explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense. This so, lesson from English, English teacher shows the signs explain how to use the verb with present tense and combine and combine it. Lo vamos a linkear. And combine it. Combine it. Combine it. With a past tense verb to express wishes. With a past tense verb to express wishes. For example. For example. For example. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I had a different job. Here, I mean, I'm listening. I wish I have a. It's going to be with had a. I wish I had a different job. I wish I had a different job. Or I wish I were thinner. Or I wish I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. That's right. Good. Now, even though I cannot hear you all at the same time, this is good practice. All right. So. You know how it goes, guys. Let's go ahead and mute your mics. Pay attention to this video. I might stop it from time to time to ask you questions if it's needed. Let's go ahead and pay attention to it, please. Hello, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll learn how to express present wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay, but my parents are always asking me to be home before midnight. I wish they'd stop worrying about me. Yeah, parents are like that. And they expect me to help around the house. I hate housework. I wish life weren't so difficult. So, why don't you move out? Hey, I wish I could, but where else can I get free room and board? Yeah, it's sometimes pretty hard to pay the rent. I'm thinking of finding a new job. Really? What kind of job would you like? I'm not sure, but I wish I worked somewhere else. I'm tired of this place. I need to live somewhere more exciting. I know what you mean. Hey, maybe we could move to a different city. We could even be roommates. Yeah, uh, maybe. Now let me start by presenting the structure. The first thing that I would like to point out is that we use wish plus a past tense in order to refer to present wishes. For example, if I have a situation that is true for me, such as I live with my parents and I would like for that to be something different, that is a wish that I have. In order for me to express that idea, I will say, I wish I didn't live with my parents, or I wish I had my own apartment. Um, if I think that life is difficult, for example, this is my present situation. If I want to express a wish that I have about that particular situation, then I will say, I wish life were easier, or I wish it weren't so difficult. Let's try to make sense of the examples that are on this chart. In order for us to understand those examples, what I would like to do is I would like to propose this formula here at the bottom. And so what we want to do is we want to take certain situations that exist in our lives and then we want to express wishes about those situations. The example that is stated here is I live with my parents. I would like for that to be something different, right? 
And so in order for me to express that idea, I'm going to have a subject. So in this case, the subject is I, and then this is going to follow wish plus the subject again. Now, the subject could be you again, or it could be another person, right? I wish I, and then the verb in its past form. So in this case, it happens to be that it's on a negative form. So we use didn't plus live. So I wish I didn't, and then whatever compliment, right? Didn't live with my parents. There we go. There we go. And as you can see, the other example is quite similar. I wish I had my own apartment. In that second example, we can see that it's no longer in its negative form. So therefore, we're going to use the verb in the past. So the example will be, I wish I had my own apartment. So this is going to be in the past. So let's try to make sense of that second example there. I can't move out. So what happens there? I can't move out. The only thing that changed was that I'm using a model verb instead of a regular verb. Um, but what you got to remember here is that the, mo the model verb can, the past of that is could. And so it's basically the same concept, right? We're going to say, I wish. And then we're going to have a subject again. I wish I. So what is the past of can? Well, we can easily say that it is could, right? There we go. And so that's basically what we're going to put here. I wish I could move out. Now let's try to make sense of the example, life is difficult. As you can see, the verb that we're using there is the verb to be. And something that I would like for you to learn at this point is that whenever we express wishes, we're going to use where for all of the pronouns. It doesn't matter if we're talking about I, he, she, it, we, you, or they. For all of them, we're going to use where. And so that's basically what's um, here at the bottom after which where is used with all pronouns. So if we think about the example, life is difficult and we want to express a wish, then we can say, I wish, and the subject again, life, where, easier. Uh, and of course, you can make that in a negative statement. I wish life weren't so difficult. But it's basically the same pattern that we're following. In the last example, my parents won't stop worrying about me. Well, what happens here is that I'm using a contraction there. So my parents won't stop worrying about me. In that particular case, I'm going to turn want or will not into would, right? So I wish, and in this case, subject, my parents would stop and then whatever compliment, right? What kind of wishes do you have about your life? And as I mentioned at the beginning of class, we want to express personal wishes. We want to express family wishes. We want to express health wishes. We want to express professional wishes, if you will. So I'm just going to have a series of wishes here, right? So what kind of wishes do you have about your bedroom? So an easy example, I wish my bedroom were bigger. What kind of wishes do you have about your school or job? Well, I wish my job were easier. What kind of wishes do you have about your appearance, the way that you look? Well, I wish I were thinner. What kind of wishes do you have about your family? I wish I had two children, right? And what kind of wishes do you have about your possessions? Well, I don't have a car, so I wish I had a car. That's a, just a quick example. 
Um, and what kind of wishes do you have about your skills? I don't know how to program computers. I wish I knew how to program computers and so on and so forth. So I would like for you to come up with your own examples about the kind of wishes that you have about yourself, about your family, about your health, about your skills. All right, guys. So it's uh, quite of a long audio, but I think that you kind of got the idea. Now, we are going to be working with wishes. Okay. What is the meaning of wish? Who can tell me that? This, this, so. this, this, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, would that be a dream? Mm. What? Would that be a dream? Like a wish? Something you dream about? Maybe. Maybe. Always. Could be. So this is what we're going to do right now, guys. I'm going to make kind of a, mm -hmm, like a mix of things here. So first of all, we're going to use wish to talk about present wishes, deseos que tenemos en estos momentos, right? That's what we're going to use it for, wishes. And uh, I'm going to be creating a file that I will be sending to you uh, if my computer weren't stuck here. Here. Now, a couple of things that we can actually see in the structure. Let me try to do it as quick as I can, all right? So when we use verbs, any other verbs, why is it so here it is now as you can see we have different things we have verbs we have can't to be and future estamos con esos cuatro so there are four ways of doing it all of the other verbs except is then we have will and can estamos con eso o todavía no Guys. The first is uh, other verbs. Other verbs, that's right. Pueden ver el documento okay. de Word, solo quiero verificar que estén viendo lo mismo que yo tengo. Yes. yes. Okay, very yes. good. So I'm going to try to hurry up so you can practice as much as I can, uh, as much as you can, because there's a lot. So used with other verbs. Now, the tips that we're going to have here is that when you see I live with my parents, this is the base, right? It's the example that you're going to change. Yo vivo con mis papás. I wish I didn't live with my parents. Yo desearía no vivir con mis padres. ¿Quiénes dijeron eso cuando tenían 14, 15, 16 o ayer? <laughs> right? Okay, Pretty good. bad. Some of you, some of you. So, what we're going to do is the following, guys. Para hacerlo rapidito. Acá, si nosotros lo tenemos, si lo, ¿cómo les podría decir? Si la base es en presente simple, con cualquier verbo que no sea uh, to be, lo pasamos a pasado. ¿Ok? So, la estructura sería así. I wish I... Si tenemos, I live with my parents, sería, I didn't live. ¿Por qué el verbo va con, va en base? Anybody? Okay, because I use, didn't. didn't. Exactly. Use That's didn't. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's why, because of the didn't. So, I wish I didn't live with my parents. Okay. So, nuestra base sería... Digamos, um, I eat too much. En mi caso, vea. I eat too much. Como se pusiera, como, como pudiera poner yo, yo sería no comer tanto. I wish I didn't, I didn't eat, eat too, too much. much. Ahí está. Eso es todo. Uh, is necessary uh, use the, the subject. 
Yes. Good times. I yes. wish I didn't. Mm -hmm. So, la estructura que vamos a tener en esto, que los vamos a poner acá. Structure, esto se los voy a mandar. Structure is going to be subject plus wish plus subject plus um, past tense. Va, aquí tenemos en negativo. This is the negative one or the affirmative first. This is the affirmative verb in past plus complement. Examples. I wish. Give me a subject. My mom. Mm. Um. Mm -hmm. Go to them? the party. Seamos un poquito, un poquito más cariñosos con las mamás, vea. ¿Quiénes no quisieran que su madre tuviera una casa grande y que no se preocupara por nada? O su propia casa. I wish my mom had a big home, a big house. Nice, excellent. I wish my mom had a big house. So, as you can see, subject, wish, este ahí queda, no lo modificamos. El que o quien, my mom, el que had a big house. ¿Por qué lo ponemos en pasado? Porque es como yo deseo que mi mamá Mira. tuviera. Entonces, no la tiene. Por eso es que tenemos que tener ese contraste. Yo, dese, yo desearía, um, yo desearía, si lo quisiéramos hacer, I wish I had a um, faster motorcycle. I don't know. I wish I had a faster motorcycle. Siempre seguimos con la misma estructura, el verbo en pasado. Um, give, give me something else. I wish mm -hmm. I ate a hamburger. Oh man, don't talk about that, brother. Come on. I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. Yo desearía comer una hamburguesa. This is the structure. Now, um, Acuérdense que siempre tiene que haber un contraste. Yeah. ¿Estás comiendo tú una hamburguesa ahorita? No. no. Eh, ¿Tienes tú una moto más veloz? No. No, exactly. So, in the negative statement, we're going to have the following. Negative statement is going to be, I wish I didn't plus the verb. verb base plus complement. So let's go ahead and try to get these ones here, guys. Las mismas. Siempre los recomiendo hacerlo al principio para este ustedes simplemente cambiarlo. I wish my mom what is the change in the structure? Didn't 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 have have Puchi, que didn't a, mí have. Me, a mí me toca trapear a mí me toca sacudir a mí me toca barrer <laughs> i wish my mom didn't have a big house okay. tiene una casa grande si sí, la tiene y por eso buscamos el contraste next one i wish i didn't no i haven't no siempre I haven't. con didn't. I, wish, uh, I, didn't. I wish i didn't have have, have. A faster motorcycle. ¿Por qué? Porque quizás me, me caí, me, me choyé todas las piernas. I wish I didn't have a faster motorcycle. Right? Son deseos. Next one. Le cayó mal la hamburguesa y ahora tiene problemas estomacales. I wish I didn't, I didn't eat. Eat. Eat a hamburger. Why? Because of the structure. ¿Estamos cachai ahorita? Yes. Yes. Bye, guys. So, in this case, um, estas cosas, si ustedes quieren vayanlas, se las voy a ir poniendo en el, en el chat y luego les mando el archivo. Tenemos cinco minutos. En todo lo que aceptamos la invitación, practiquen con esta estructura. ¿Ok? No ocupen el verbo to be, no ocupen can, no ocupen um, will, or want. All right?
go ahead and accept the invite. Try to follow this structure the best of your possibilities, the best of your abilities. There we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna send it right now to you. Stanley, did you get the invite? Stanley? No. Uh, I wish, I wish my mom had a big house. <laughs> what? Original. <laughs> Did he say example? Yeah, man, that's an example. Yeah. Come on, get your own example, sir. Change? Yeah, change them. That's my example. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what do you wish right now, Romulo? Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, I wish that, uh, my little son obeyed. Obeyed? Obeyed me. My, my, obeyed my, my indications? No, obeyed me. Obeyed, obeyed me, ah, okay. Okay, uh, Noemi? Uh -huh. Okay, good I wish I had a good night. Yeah. I wish I had a good night. A, a good, good night. <laughs> a, a good wine. No, good night. I say a good night. Ah, okay. Okay, nice. Omi. Omi, hello. Hello. I wish I have a big television. I have or I had? I have. I had a big television. I wish I had a, a big television. Why? Come on, guys. I know you can do much better than just sentences. Digan por qué. I wish I had a big TV. Hey, qué chivo, te salió bien. Más información. Because I want to watch my favorite TV series. Because La Liga is back. Because La Premier. I don't know. Vaya usted a saber. But get more information on your sentences. Okay. Keep on practicing. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Colombia. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. And... Yes. Another one. I I wish I had a big car. Or I wish um where in the on the no where on a beach. Okay. Nice. Oh, yes. nice, nice, nice. But that one is with the past of B. So hold it, Yakasi. Okay. Okay. Uh, Come on, guys. Use, uh, the, the, form, uh -huh, the form is we use the verb in past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. If, if it's affirmative, if it's negative, then you use it in the base form. Okay. Nice. Okay. It's correct say, I wish my dad didn't eat too much. <laughs> yes. yes. Correct. <laughs> That's correct. And now you have the sentence, I want to get more information. Why? Because he can't sleep at night. Mm -hmm. right? So add more information. You can do mm -hmm. much more than sentences. Digan la estructura okay. y métanle su sabor ahí. Ok, I wish my dad mm -hmm. didn't eat too much because he... The, he does, he didn't ex exercise. No, he, because, because uh -huh. he, he do exercise, no. Oh, he didn't, er, he In, doesn't, no. There no. you go, I style. Le he do, he, uh -huh. I wish my, my dad uh, didn't eat too much because he doesn't do, he doesn't exercise. Uh, usually, I don't know. <laughs> That's it. He doesn't exercise. Okay. 
You see, okay. ya ven, así es como tienen que ir sacando las cosas. Good job. Um, Berta, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Vertex X HP. Okay, go ahead and continue. <laughs> Let me check another group, all right? Good job. Okay, nice. bye. Thank you. I wish I didn't travel. Uh -huh. Y le puedo agregar un país, por ejemplo. I wish uh -huh. I traveled to Japan. Uh -huh. I, I wish I didn't travel to Japan. Why? Mm -hmm. Now it's time for you to get more information. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm, uh, I wish I I wish I had a big house. I wish I didn't I did I wish I didn't have, have a big house. Nice. Good job with the structure, Luis. Now, tell me why. Like the Backstreet Boys song. Tell me why, man. I wish I didn't have a big house because it is too difficult to clean. Okay. Right? As your I own compliment. <laughs> okay. Okay. I wish... I wish I didn't have a big house because it is difficult to clean. Uh-huh. Good, but that's a that's a lot like my example. Get your own example, man. Come on, use your imagination. Mm. Uh -huh. I wish. Mm -hmm. um, I wish I have a big car because it it have much space for family. Nice, nice. That's what I'm talking about. Let's just go ahead and pay attention to the verbs, though. I wish I had, right? I wish okay. I had a big car because it has. It has, mm -hmm. okay. Because it has more space for family. Good. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Let's go ahead and go back to the main room. Okay. okay. Thank you. Alrighty, guys. So we are back. Um, volunteers, um, Imer, give me an example, please. Um, I wish I spoke English very well because I need to know uh, some things. No, I know. I don't know. No, man, that's but good. I, that's good. I, 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 I wish mm -hmm. I spoke. Uh, English very well because it's necessary for the job, for the life. That's what I'm talking everything. about. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Nice. Um, Noemi. Oh, and, and then Romulo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Noe? Okay. Noe? And uh, perhaps she's talking with the, my, with the mute on. I mean, pasa todo el tiempo. Hablo con el mute. But if not, Romulo, go ahead. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. I wish I didn't have to work because it's a stressful and tired for me. Ah, I understand. Good, good, good example. Excellent, Noemi. Um, Romulo? Okay. Uh, Noemi. <laughs> The same sentences, but um, I wish I didn't stay at home because it's stressful for me. Oh, Sorry. yes. Yes, that's a good example because this is stressful. All right. Excellent. Now, what we're going to do now is that we are going to change to a new verb. This is the structure with verbs. Esta es la estructura para... Prácticamente todos los verbos. Pero ¿qué pasa? Si nosotros tenemos can't. 
Bueno, vamos a ocupar. Ajá. I can't move out. ¿Quiénes tienen problemas para dormir? I'm. Sometimes. I have insomnia. Oh. Sometimes. <laughs> well, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not have that problem, but it's a good example. All right. So, <laughs> used with can. Okay. Now, if you notice, um, ¿cómo les explico? Aquí se los voy a poner. Vamos a ocupar lo mismo acá. Me gusta, si ustedes fijan, se fijan, me gusta bastante copiar y pegar porque lo que yo voy cambiando son detallitos. Right? Ocupo las mismas bases. Si la base es eh, si la base es con Ken lo pasamos a Cool. Good. cool. Ahí está. So, for example, I wish I could or couldn't, parece poder hacer algo, no friega, couldn't plus verb base. That's it. So let's try to get some examples here. I wish I could sleep. Voy a quitar esto acá. I wish I could sleep at night. Yo deseara poder dormir en la noche. All right? Now, you tell me something that you wish. Okay, let me give you another one. I wish I could um, speak French. La verdad, me gustaría hablar francés. I wish I could speak French. ¿Puedo hablar, hablar, hablar francés yo? No. Oh. No, I can. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Only a few words from Duolingo, but no. <laughs> Now, you give me some examples. Teacher, is correct say, I wish I could win the lottery? Yes. Nice, nice example. I wish I could win the lottery because I need to pay... Siman, blah, 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 <laughs> blah, 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 etc. So, this is the structure that you're going to use. Yo desearía poder el qué. El verbo y su complemento. ¿Tenemos alguna una pregunta con eso? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give me some examples, please. I wish I could mm -hmm. learn uh, Python language. For programming in my job. Okay. How do you write down Python like this? I don't know. Uh, uh, H after T. Okay, like this? Oh, you're right. Yes. Okay. Muy bien. Puede, puede Stanley, Stanley, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Puede Stanley uh, ocupar el lenguaje Python? No. no, no. El deseara poder hacerlo. Excellent. Romulo, I think you raised yeah. your hands, right? Go ahead. I, I wish I could wake up early every day. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes, I wish I could wake up early every day because... Because blah, I... Blah, blah, blah. Wake up late. <laughs> Ahí está. Excellent. So guys, this is the new structure. If you want to use it in negative, what do you think is going to happen? Couldn't. Couldn't, that's it. So as I always mention on my videos, if you know how to do one structure or how to use it, the second structure is going to be easier. All right, so let's make it happen here. I wish. I couldn't. Está bien raro este ejemplo, pero gramaticalmente está bien. Desearía no poder dormir en la noche. O sea que si puede, si es vigilante, creo que podría decir eso. O si tiene turno. Or maybe you need to study. Or maybe you need to study. I wish I couldn't yeah. sleep at night. And the test is the next day. 
Nice. I wish I couldn't wake up early every day. Mm -hmm. I wish I couldn't wake up early every day. Uh -huh. Desearía no levantarme temprano todos los días. ¿Se levanta temprano? Sí. Uh -huh. Y él quisiera poder levantarse al mediodía, si es posible. <laughs> okay. Good. I wish... Well, este sí está bastante imposible. No creo que nadie quiera no poder ganarse la lotería. <laughs> I wish I couldn't win the lottery. Does... Right? Um, vamos a quitar este porque no la, la pega, la verdad no pega. O sea, quizás porque los familiares le van a querer quitar todo. I don't know. I wish I could. I wish I couldn't learn Python language. Desearía no aprender el lenguaje pitómano porque me van a estar poniendo horas extras y ni me las van a pagar, van a usar de mí en el trabajo, etc. So, different structures. Any questions with these guys? Alguna pregunta oh. con esta? No? Only, only one teacher. Go ahead. You said uh, about can or, or could. And mm -hmm. can you, you use with which? I, uh, okay, I try to say, for example, I, I, Ok, en español, des, eh, yo desearía que los animales hablaran. I, I, could, I wish, I could, the animal speaks, o oh, I, I wish, ok. I wish, acuérdense que va el sujeto, vea, animals, animals could speak. speak. Ah, could desearía speak. que los animales pudieran hablar, o pudiesen, okay. ese poder... <coughs> Realizar cierta acción siempre tiene que ir en esa estructura. Ok. I, I wish and, animals could speak to us. Ok, and you say can. Is, is correct to use can or could? What is the difference in, between. Ok, this. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Si la base <laughs> is can, lo pasamos could. Exactly. Ah, yes. Ahí estamos. Bye, guys. So, we're going to do this because of time. Vamos a tener lo siguiente. Um, if we use... Nuevamente, lo vamos a copiar todo. Como ustedes ya saben, trato de ser práctico. Let's go right here. Used with to be. Here. Si la base es con to be, lo pasamos a... Where, 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 simple. Sea I, you, he, she, it, we, they, todos, todos los pronombres. No changes. No changes. I wish I were, hay una canción que se llama I wish I were you, no sé de quién es, pero por ahí andalo. I wish I were, and then we have... <laughs> I, were you. I wish I were. I wish I were you. How do you say this idea ser feliz? I wish I were. I were happy. happy. Mm -hmm. Happiness. I were happy. Happy. Exacto. Vamos a ocupar la estructura como lo tenemos aquí arriba. I wish it were easier. I wish it weren't so difficult. All right. So um, give me a few more. ¿Quiénes quisieran estar más delgados? Sobre todo después de esta cuarentena. I'm not. ¿Solo yo? Okay. Everybody. Okay. So, we <laughs> wish we wish. were thinner. We wish we were thinner. Ahí está. Thinner. Si fuéramos más delgados. Aquí estoy ocupando un comparativo en el complemento. Aquí un adjetivo. ¿Ok? ¿Quién quiere ser millonario? Me. All the, all the okay. people. Everybody. Now, acuérdense, nice. con estos, no me quería meter en las primeras estructuras en esto, pero wish es un verbo y lo vamos a ocupar como verbo principal. Entonces, lo tenemos que conjugar. Por ejemplo, Stanley wishes, ¿por qué? Porque Stanley es tercera persona. He were a millionaire. 
¿Estamos? Yes. Yes. Good. Now, in negative, what do you think is going to be in negative? It's weren't. Weren't. That's it. Weren't. weren't. Vamos a movernos por el tiempo. Uh, in negative, we use weren't. I wish I weren't happy. Pues es feliz y no quiere ser feliz. ¿Por qué? Vaya él o ella a saber. <laughs> I wish, we wish we weren't thinner. Desearíamos no estar más delgados. También puede pasar. Stanley wishes he weren't a millionaire. O sea que él es un millonario y no quiere, ya no quiere ser millonario. ¿Por qué? Pregúntele a él. Ay, que la gente lo quiere por el pisto y, hey, mira, pues dame cinco pesos y nunca le paga. All right, cosas así. And the last one, guys, hoy sí vamos a jalarle. My parents won't stop worrying about me. Cuando nosotros ocupamos este will, vamos want. a ocupar want. Eso es todo. The future. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, lo usamos, perdón por la carrera. Use with will. Si la base es en futuro simple con will, coma. Miren qué fácil es simplemente ir cambiando. Lo pasamos a want. Want. Okay. Ahí está. So, what is the structure? I wish he wants verb base. For example, super quick. Sorry about this. I wish, ah, perdón, lo pasamos con, con wood. My apologies. I am mm -hmm. chibule. Con wood. Wood is the past of will. And also a model verb. Ah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I wish they would pasamos a would en su manera negativa. So, for example, I wish bueno, you know that, pero I wish she would date me. Para los enamorados, yo desearía que saliera conmigo. I wish she would date me. I wish she would date me. Mm -hmm. Give me another one, please. I wish uh, they would mm -hmm. run us. Run us. Correr con nosotros. Sí. Run with us. Ok, muy bien. Run with us. Yo sería que ellos corrieran con nosotros. Muy bien. Give me another one. Yo sería que nos dieran vacaciones. Only I one. wish they would uh, give us vacations. Ok. So, this is the structure with wood. A veces es difícil hacer todo esto en una hora y crear, la verdad, un, algo significativo. Pero, se puede. Wouldn't, how do you say, uh, desearía que ella no saliera conmigo? ¿Ya se arrepintieron? I wish. Wouldn't they, wouldn't. She, wouldn't she wouldn't date, date me. me. Ajá, ya, ya, control Z, deshacer. Uh, ¿Desearía que no corrieran <laughs> con nosotros? I wish they wouldn't room with us. Ajá. No, me gustó mucho platican cuando vamos corriendo. Desearía que no platiquen, que no corrieran con nosotros. Um, I wish they... Otra ilógica, pero bueno. I wish, I wish they wouldn't give us vacations. Okay. So, what I'm going to do right now, guys, is that I'm going to open up the break rooms. Son cuatro estructuras. A veces no me gusta tirarlas tan así para que tenga algo un poco más fijo. Vamos a practicar por los siguientes siete minutos. I'm going to send this picture to the WhatsApp group, all right? Accept the break room. So you can take time. Go, 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 go. Accept the break room, please. The invite.
do to no do uh, yes uh, do to the current real situation okay again please i didn't understand you i wish i could go for a walk with my pet his name rocky my pet okay. also my pet also needs it and i also because i will help me to my own health by the to the current real situation oh, okay okay got it that that's a very long exercise long example good <laughs> Okay. I wish uh, I could do the task. My task me. It's correct, teacher? Say it again. I wish could the, do. The other, the other subject. I wish I could do. I wish I, I, wish I could do uh -huh. my task. Okay. Yeah. See? Yes, that's right. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. and, the... and, and more information, Romulo. That's great with the structure. Because what, uh what kind oh. of task? <laughs> uh huh. Uh, my, but I, okay, I changed it. Not changed, but uh, I structure better the, the sentence. Uh -huh. I wish I could do, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. My work tax. Okay. Ah, okay. Because I the time is enough. Isn't, isn't it, enough. Isn't enough. It's enough. Okay. Excellent, Romulo. Nice example. Nice example. You know, do you do you drink uh, tea? Do you drink tea? Uh huh. Yeah, yes, you. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Drink a drink a couple of tea, and relax in a dark room. That's gonna help you relax a little. <laughs> in a dark room. <laughs> yeah, that works. Sometimes when I'm when I'm stressed, I actually get into a room, drink something dark, just me and my thoughts. Okay. Okay. With the right. with the. <laughs> With the little girl in your room. Oh no, nah, hell no. Nah. The, the little girl that, that don't exist. <laughs> yeah, the one from the ring or, or... <laughs> yeah. All right, continue guys. We're gonna go whoa, we're gonna go back now. All right, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we are getting everybody back. And I want to share something before I let you go. Okay, here it is. So before I let you go, guys, I need one volunteer to give me an example with this structure. Just one. Uh -huh. One volunteer to give me an example with this structure. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, me? Go ahead. Uh, I wish I were tired because I need to sleep more. Yes, that's the one to the right. Está muy bien con is, pero ¿qué onda con los otros verbos? That's a good example, but let's focus on this one with oh. other verbs. This one okay. right here. Ah, the other verbs. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh, with the same sentence or another no, sentence? No, you can you can use the same as long as it matches. Okay, I wish I were uh, tired. Mm, pero ahí seguimos con el is. Cambiémosle al otro verbo. Uh, otro verbo. I, I I wish I I um. Do you want to live in another country or are you happy in El Salvador? I'm happy here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. It, it didn't work. <laughs> so, didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. So how do you I, say, Imer? I know you're happy, but, but I wanted to give me this example. Yo desearía vivir o yo desearía vivir en otro país, por ejemplo. I wish 
I lived uh -huh. in another country because exactly. El Salvador is dangerous. There you go, boy. Good, good, good. Excellent. Um, thank you. Good job, Imer. Carla, thank you for raising your hand. Gracias por levantar la mano. Um, is. Um, how do you say estar juntos? Stay together? Uh -huh, be together. Be together. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Be together. Okay. Um, I wish my daughter and my son be together. Um, but but now this is not possible because my son <laughs> lives in the USA. Oh, okay. Nice example. And very personal. Thank you very much for sharing that. Yes. It is nice. Um, the only thing that I would change is instead of be, you use where. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. En vez de be, ocupamos where. Be, where. where? Mm -hmm. okay. I wish my son and my daughter were together. Were together. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. So, guys, um, yo sé que ya los tengo que dejar ir porque ya nos pasamos del tiempo. Necesito dos... Así, dos voluntarios, súper rápido, para que terminemos. Uno con can, bueno, en este caso could, y otro con oh. would. But for today, if possible, so you can go to rest. Me? Ajá, uh -huh. go ahead, Noemi. I wish I could drive motorcycle because I don't like the traffic. <laughs> nice. Nice, nice, okay. nice, nice, nice. Excellent structure. Just remember, drive is a car. Yes. Ride. Yeah. Ride, ride is a bicycle. Ride. It's a motorcycle. But, but excellent example, Noemi. Okay. And the last volunteer with what? Me, me, teacher. Go ahead, Omi. I wish we were not so bad with animals, hurting them, but taking good care of them. Okay. Beautiful example with where. What about with wood? How do you say que sería que cuidáramos a los animales? I wish uh, care, uh, we care. We no we we we, 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 we would uh -huh. care care animals care of animals. Excellent, nice. Yeah, nice. I wish we would take care of animals. Nice. So guys, thank you very much for always doing your best. Gracias por demostrarle qué les importa que practiquen, ya les mandé el archivo, revísenlo, yes. y ustedes yes. vayan cambiando sus propios, eso lo pueden guardar ustedes en un archivo, vayan cambiando sus propios uh, ejemplos, ¿ok? Um, sí. Desearía darles buenas noticias, pero sí se las voy a dar. Mañana es el Día del Padre, ¿vea? Yes. 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 ¿Sí? Yes. ¿Lo celebren o no lo celebren? Hay clases. <risa> Nice example. I wish we didn't have class tomorrow. Um, uh, me too. But anyways, I can do anything, guys. Mañana hay clase. A, a menos que nos digan lo contrario, yo les aviso. Pero lo, de lo okay. contrario, nos han notificado que sí hay. Mejor terminamos okay. más rápido el módulo. Okay? Yes. Y no nos conectamos un viernes matter. para reponer. Así que, guys, okay. si, algún, right. si alguno no puede, me avisa. Get out of here. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B